as I said, Boatsy is on a 10-fight streak of knockouts, and this has the feel for me of Lee Wood against Michael Conlon, which we saw on the zone earlier this year. The Olympic graduate up against the opponent who's had to climb the rankings with much less fanfare around him. We're set to go. So will this man be able to build on the success at and since the Olympic Games of 2016 as he kneels in prayer? for one last time before the start of this WBA title eliminator, or will this man be able to build on that display or be the losing one against one Dimitri Bivol? That's why this is so anticipated, so many possibilities. The latest huge domestic showdown in a number of them this year. Which of them will respond to the occasion best? Who of them will respond quickest as Buatsi goes looking for the right hand in the early exchanges and the response is immediate from Richards. Nice job from Richards. Good old Jack from Buatsi. Oh, good job. Good attack on the ropes. Richards falling back into the ropes just how badly hurt was he? This is a good attack from Boatsy with 10 seconds to go in the round and Richards is forced to cover up. Big shots landing from Joshua Boatsy at the end of the opening round. So could this be a key point in the fight now for Boatsy and Richards? Can Richards re-establish himself behind that left hand? Big right hand over the top from Boatsy. Waxy rocking back the head of Richards with the left hand jab. Looking to throw the right hand over the jab all the time. And the legs appear to stiffen again just slightly from Richards. Going to the body, the head's clashing. In that performance against Bivol, Richards fainted so much, twitched so much in front of Bivol, and he kept Bivol honest. He made him respect Richards. Go on the cut. But Boatsy takes it well and responds well and pins in a strong left hook of his own. And up close, this is where Boatsy's having all his, all his all of his success. Outside of the jab on the right hand. Up close is where he's dangerous. He's the much more explosive of the two fighters. Nice down to the body. Look down to the body. Come over two punches to the head from Boatsy. Smart work. From Boatsy, that was the pedigree at work once again from the Olympic bronze medalist, but Richards fires back to the body. Solid left hook to the body. Towards the end of the second round from Richards. Much more evenly contested round. Richards responds once again. And probably the best punch of the exchange was Richards. The left hook. Every time he has a moment of success, Richards comes right back. And the same could be said in reverse. Still both men trying to establish some kind of superiority. Watts is very good on the inside like this. Very good up, up close and in the clinches. Richards had success with his right hand. Oh, there it is right there. I was just saying, I was waiting for his right hand to come. I was just about to say he had success with his right hand. Could have stuck that away from him. And just as I said, he threw the shot. Probably the best one to the round. Extremely close round. This one here, just missed this one. But before this, Bawati had landed three, three great shots in set. Sets it up, jab, jab, touch, right hand. Into the fourth round. And it's developing into a fascinating encounter here. Two men with different styles, but two men very confident 
and how they believe they can win this contest as Guazzi gets to work behind that left-hand jab. Drives Richards back into a neutral corner just about Rick's our up. position Step here up. at ringside. Good left hook. May have hurt him. And now Guazzi follows up by walking away to the body. Halfway stage of round four. And look how good Guazzi is on the inside. He can tie him with one hand, but also move his body and shift to make an angle for a punch. Good left hook. Applause from Richard's corner. Beautifully timed. Himself, some punching room on the inside. And Richards happy to stay at close range, even though a lot of his successes have been at mid and long range. Well, he opens up again at the end of the round. Sustained attack again from Blancy, but Richards fires back. Virtually on the side of the bell. The right hand and left hook from Blancy. His jab has been so impressive. Um, He's changing the pace of the jab, and, and almost the first jab just touches the glove, and then the second one comes right behind it. Landmark. It's almost like the right hand is so strong. Look at it there. And this is a good attack. One of the best attacks of the contest so far from Buatzi. And only halfway through the fifth round. Richards finds his way out of the corner. He's skipping away. He looks confident. But how badly hurt is he? He comes back with a looping right hand. What a match behind him. Can he press now? Nice up the court. Joshua wants to can't get casual with his defense. I know he exerted a lot of energy in the last attack, but he has to disguise it a little bit. Oh, look at So is Boatsy having to refuel here after that sustained attack earlier in the round because he allowed Richard to come back into the fray. But I'm loving the double jab from Boatsy. Good overhand right, brilliant right hand. He disguised that twice in a row, it's gone through. Then the uppercut. Richard standing his ground. Showing tremendous resilience. Firing back almost immediately in almost a repeat of the previous round. Lost, nice one too. Yeah. Nice up the top, left hook from Richards. He needs to start up his output. Instead of the hook being passive, be active and make Watsy think about what he's doing, what's coming back at him. Now it's Richard's turn to try to point the jab towards the body. Very that attack of his. Exactly what I've been saying. You have a good combination, but then you just finish. You have to stop and take a break. And Virgil Hunter, probably one of the best corner men in the world. Use your jab. Use your jab. And when he does, he's having success. So Richard's is in this fight. And this fight could still turn either way. Sense Andy is slowing at the pace in this round. Yeah, it's been quite forcing the pace throughout the fight. Richard needs to sense that. He needs to pick up his, his activity. When Boati's trying to rest, he needs to force him to fight. Long right hand, but he needs to follow it up. Good left hook. Nice body shot from Boati. Richard really has to build on those successes. Good couple of jabs and then the right hand over the top, but Buatsi once again doesn't fight. Try the other foot there, Mike, off the ropes. Straight to Buatsi. And, and maybe that's what, that's what it's going to take, Mike. Something like that to go for the fairness of Buatsi. To knock him out of his way. Good work from... Richards, good right hand, good right overcut. Blatsy fell into Richards as if he's been hurt, but immediately fires back. And a good left hook from Richards. Best exchange of the contest to Blatsy. He's on stepping legs, but manages to fire back. 20 seconds to go in the round. Best exchange of the contest. The contest could change in this exchange. Left hook from Richards. Richards is winging away. Blatsy firing back. Richard's time to hold on. What a finish to the round. Suddenly, the fight has caught fire.
Jones on steady going back to the corner, mate. Richards done really well. It was difficult. The shot you've been calling for. But he kept it going. He sustained the attack and he sensed what he was hurt. I'm not sure if he was really hurt. But it was that one at the back of the head as well that just discombobulated him a little bit. He didn't see the punch, Wati, but he was always dangerous, even though he might have been hurt. Suddenly there's a different atmosphere here in the O2 Arena, where we've seen so many dramatic finishes down the years. Are we in line for another one here in this light heavyweight battle? I'm not sure what's happened here. It's Richards who's having the success when they exchange jabs, which wasn't the case earlier in the, early in the fight. It's him, him that wanted the heavier jab, with the more accurate jab. This has been a good response from Richards, given the deficit on the cards. And now Barassi fires up again. I know he's behind on the cards, Mike, but there was never one round where he was completely outclassed. He's been in this fight every round and competing every round. Lovely jab from Duarte. Really is one of his best weapons. Mike, this is turning into one of those fights that even though there's going to be a winner and loser, both men are going to get massive credit for it and grow in stature from it. And as you say, it's been competitive all the way through, even though on our card, who actually was winning everything up to round seven. Beautiful shots to the body from Guati. Punishing punches to the body. The back of this is the mouthpiece. I think that's Guati. And this is a strong attack now from Joshua Guati and Richard is forced to back up. And it looks to me as though he's heard more than at any stage in the fight so far. And the referee will call the timeout to replace the gun shield. And you're right, Andy. It's been dislodged from the mouth of Joshua Buazzi, just as he was mounting. Just about the most impressive attack of the fight so far from... And here comes Richards. He's not tired. But Richards brings in that big overhand right. Is this a last desperate act as he tries that right uppercut and gets through a long looping shot? This is he may be tired. And the tactics from the corner. Of course you want to win the last two rounds, you want to win every round. Maybe it's psychological, maybe they just want him to keep up his activity and win the rounds. But in doing so. You might leave yourself more open, Mike. You might fight not as smart as you would, considering that he's probably up, well up in the scorecard, Guati. Into... Richards made to miss with that right hand attack. And good pounds off the road from Guati. Oh, Richards looks hurt. Spinning round and then whipping in a lovely right uppercut, Guati. Good defensive work from Buatsi, bringing up that right guard even at this late stage of the contest. But now he just got through with that right hand. Buatsi takes it well and whips another one of those right uppercuts in. Good exchange here, Richards refusing to give ground. Last few seconds of the 11th round. Nice, and Richard step back, even set the space. Still, they're both landing, still both taking the shots. They're being tested like never before in their respective careers. And for Joshua Buatzi going back to his corner at the end of the 11th round, this the longest he's travelled in his professional career. This was that chopping right hand. Probably the best 
punch it around. what might have happened had he made more use of that. It's a, it's a potent shot. It is, but he wasn't able to. He, was, he wasn't allowed to. What is skill, ferocity. To send that punch home was Buatsi as we head to the final minute of the final round. Again, going for the glory shot with a looping overhand right. Can't find the necessary accuracy or the necessary sharpness and power at this late, late stage of the contest. Boatsy backs off, right hand does get through from Richards. Is it too little, too late? As Boatsy fires away on the inside once again. And stuff to finish this fight. I'm going to be on my toes after this. And this bell rings applauding both men. Credit to the two men. They knew they had to rise to the occasion. They rose to the occasion and right to the final bell. They're swinging away. They're landing heavily all the way up to the sound of that bell. And there is, as you'd expect, a warm, warm embrace. And once again, as you look around the backdrop of the ringside area, virtually everybody on their feet applauding here. A wonderful, wonderful contest between two so evenly matched fighters who go back a long, long way. They had to. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a nice round of applause out here, please, for both of these fighters. After 12 rounds of action here at the O2 Arena, we go to the judges' scorecard. Jan Christensen, 116-112. Bob Williams and Gustavo Padilla both scored about 115 to 113. All three for your winner by unanimous decision, Joshua Buatsi.